Hi, it's Brad from Low Mountain Audio, and we're here today with ATC drivers, and we're talking about mid-ranges. So if you watched the previous video on woofers and low-frequency drivers, we're now moving on to the mid-range, and ATC is probably most famous for their mid-range. And uh, that's from people that use them, listen to them, own them, but also from an engineering perspective. This is a thing that started the company and is probably most unique about ATC of all other manufacturers in the world. Um, Billy started out, started ATC with engineering this part and creating this mid-range. And it's a fundamental departure from what everybody had been doing before, and that is that it's a dome mid-range. It's a three-inch dome mid-range. No one had really tried to do it like this before. And the goal is, all like all the other things we talked about, trying to strip distortion out by having a short coil and a long gap, by uh, having a lot of damped driver devices so you can have a lot of control over it, this dual suspension, and also having a massive motor assembly. This motor assembly is larger than most uh, low frequency driver uh, motors in the industry. So this is a huge part. It's very different than everything else that's made. This particular one is a cutaway, which uh, is was made to show you the inner workings, but you get the idea of the complete part. But the goal of this mid-range is really to do a couple things. Besides having a lighter structure on top than a cone, it doesn't narrow as the stir as uh, frequency goes up. So one of the problems with a cone is that once you get up into mid-range frequencies, and a lot of people have been using cones for mid-ranges, dispersion narrows significantly. That's just a feature of physics. You can't stop it. You can do a lot of things to try to help it, but every time you use a cone, as frequency increases, dispersion narrows. So this part is designed to work from 380 hertz to 3500 hertz. Very unique. And uh, this part being a three inch dome will have much better dispersion than a cone will because it's a dome. And the goal is really to have it sound the same on this end of the couch as that end of the couch. It's sort of that simple. And the goal is to have it be the same over the widest possible area. Now it won't be perfect because reflections will also affect this, meaning the bounces of sound off your walls, but this part will provide a much wider listening angle than a cone will and than any other thing we've seen so far. So with all these features that we've built into this, which you see a waveguide here to control the dispersion and also to keep it very consistent, this damped driver here and this short coil long gap idea and the dual suspension, we can have a very low distortion part and a very significant addition to the ATC line in the terms of when you listen to a mid-range or an ATC, it just sounds much clearer than what you heard on other speakers. Now, what's interesting is you look at the outside of this and you say, oh, three-inch dome. There's other three-inch domes. And there you go. There's another three-inch dome, but look at the motor. There is a motor assembly on it, this three-inch dome that's used by several other manufacturers. You clearly cannot get the same output from this that you can from this part. And so ATC realizes dynamic range, especially in the world of digital audio, is super important. And you need a device with a very wide dynamic bandwidth so that you can cover these peaks. Keeping distortion low means you've got to be able to cover the peaks the same way you cover the main part of the music. So what you see here is a dramatic comparison between ATC mid-ranges and the way other people do it. This is all built in England by hand. And... Um, uh, it's a great part and a big part of why ATC is so unique. So thanks for watching.